Hey, if art is a crime, then just... Oh, damn it. Okay, think, Delson, think. Ah, party at the Longhouse. Just gotta get there, mingle, establish an alibi. I'm a goddamn criminal mastermind. out there it's just me Betty Delson. would you put the stapler down seriously what are you doing here why aren't you at the big to-do at the longhouse oh uh yeah I just didn't feel all that accomplished tonight but you look amazing it looks great on you seriously what were you doing up on the roof hmm nothing just were you up to mischief Come on, I know you're in there, so just come on out, or I'll call Betty and she'll be here in five minutes with the keys. <laughs> you're up to mischief. Okay, well, come on, seriously, what are you gonna do here? Uh, uh, well, I have no choice. He's a cop. I have to be back here in five minutes, and if you're still here... <sighs> Thanks, Betty. This is the last, last time. time. Now I have to go back to my office. Apparently, I'm getting a phone call. I believe he doesn't have anything better to do. Hello, freedom. And now the easy part. Get to the longhouse, set up an alibi. Hey, man. I've been looking, like, forever for you. We should probably just get inside. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it is for me to keep arresting my own brother over and over and over again? Maybe you should stop arresting your brother over and over and you over again. You think this again. is a joke? No, I is don't. Is this how you want to leave your mark on the world, huh? You think this would make our parents proud? Misdemeanor vandalism? Listen, man, there's a lot of scary shit in the world. And while I'm out there actually trying to assert my talent... You're trying to assert your talent? I mean, what the hell are you even talking this, about? Reggie, why don't you just let me be who I am? Tell me what big, bad, if scary you would shit listen, you're gonna I would say is from. It to really? You. Because I don't seem to Reggie. get it. What? Truck. I'm going after those two. You stay back. That thing's gonna blow. Stay away from the exploding thing. Got it. Anybody hear me? Need some help here. Uh, Reggie? Guy here needs some help. where I can see him. I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to get going before she gets here. I said let him go, or I will shoot you. Fresh. Oh, I said I don't want to hurt nobody. Reg? I gotta find Reggie. What the hell was that? I... What the hell? What is happening to me? My God, no! Stop it, stop it, stop it! 
the hell is going on? Oh my god. Oh my god. Make it stop! Reg! Reg, I really need you! Reg, you okay? Nelson, what was that? I gotta get that thing off you. You just... I gotta get you out! Okay, okay, just... Just help me push! Oh, dear God. No, no, no! I can't stop it, man. I can't stop it. Reggie, I can't okay. stop it's it, okay. man. It's okay. You're okay. Just breathe. Breathe. You're right. You're right. I'm one of them, man. I'm no. one of them. No. No. You are my brother. All right? You are my brother. Okay. This thing with you is gonna pass. I promise. We'll fix it. All right? You with me? You with me? Okay. Okay. Get out there. There is a bio so we gotta stop him before he gets to the rest of the tribe. All right? Okay. I need you. I need you right now. Okay. All right? Okay, come on. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Let's go. Just promise me you won't use any of those tricks, okay? I wouldn't have been able to even get to you back there if I hadn't... Just promise me you won't do that. Hey, hey, I just, I don't want you to think what's happened is, is a good thing, okay? Because it's not. Sheriff, we can't get in! The button's jammed! I think Betty's still inside. Jeez, man, the latch is melted. Locked. How the hell did he get through? I think he ran through. You can do that? Nelson's a bioterrorist, too. Wait, he's not... Fine, go. Control the mobs. I'm coming back with help. See if Betty's in there with the bioterrorist. Vince. Good to know. Not good. Wow, that should have hurt. Betty! Where are you, Bella? Yeah, this will work. Don't want to spoil the surprise. Almost there, Betty! Gotta get out of here, lady! Stay away from I'm me! I'm trying to help no, you, lady! Stay away from me! Stop! Delson! I was just trying to create a diversion! I didn't know anybody was in you here! You did this to me! You're a conduit? Uh. Betty, I'll explain later, but you gotta get out of here now! Good, I'm gone! Not until you fix this first! I spend most of my life behind bars. It's easy enough to bust out. You just gotta wait for that golden opportunity. When I got my powers, hell, I was unstoppable. Until the DUP caught up with me. Yeah, they got a special hole they like to toss folks like me in. Figured out a way to bind us all up so we couldn't use our powers. But that also meant they had to feed us, wash us, even wipe our goddamn asses. That's no way for a man to live. There's no way. They had this red-headed bitch there, really into needles and scalpels. She called what she did to me tests. But if you do enough time, you can learn a few tricks. You just gotta be patient. Sooner or later, they'll screw up. They always do. You maybe see something, or you hear something, learn things you weren't supposed to know. So when that bitch put the three of us in that wagon, I knew what was coming. A golden opportunity. I saw you. 
poking around inside my head. It was me? I thought that was you. You saw it, right? That DUP prison. If she catches you, that's where you're going. Wait, wait, wait! I'm warning you, kid. Back off! You're not going anywhere until you fix this! Listen, I don't know what happened, but you better be ready to disappear. Why? You're a conduit now, kid. A bioterrorist. Welcome to the world of Run For Your Life. And that's what I aim to do, even if I gotta go through you. Not going anywhere until you fix this. This ain't something that can be fixed. Then at least show me how to control it. Ain't got time. DUP's coming, and she knows I'm on to her plan. This fire's only gonna buy two, three minutes diversion tops. I gotta get now. Ain't going back to Curtin K. Yeah, well, whoever's coming is coming for you, man, not me. You've been seen, son. Folks here know about you, and she's got a way of making people talk. Good luck, kid. Oh, hell no. No way I'm gonna die in a fish guttery. Just let me go. Just let me walk away. Nobody's ever gotta know about any of this. Wait a minute! Stop! Let's talk about this! Oh, Henry. I am so very disappointed in you. Well, we got him, right? I, uh, flushed that... Mean old conduit for you. Good job, everybody. Especially you, guys. Bioterrorist. Henry Daughtry. I was a bioterrorist. Conduit. He's a word used by traitors who sympathize with their cause. You're not a traitor. Are you? I, uh... I, I try not to be. <laughs> you seem nervous. No, I'm not nervous. <laughs> It's been my experience, there are only two reasons for people to be nervous. Either they're cowards, or they have something to hide. Well, you know, I also get nervous around pretty girls. You were in there with that bioterrorist for some time. Did he share anything with you? Um, share... Did he say anything to you? Share any of his ramblings about conspiracies? Oh, um, no, he didn't. He didn't share anything. Good. That's good to hear. You see, we are engaged in a life and death war with these bioterrorists, and it's my job to do whatever it takes to ensure that we win that war. What? Well, that's kind of funny because <laughs> aren't you a bioterrorist too? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I am. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. And it's clear now that you're not a coward, which means there's something that you're not telling me. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? You can't do this, you crazy! I've got rights! And I have the legal authority to suspend those rights whenever I feel it's necessary. Like now, for instance, I'll ask again, what happened in there? And I will tell you again. I'm told that hurts. No, Betty, don't. So, really? Still nothing. Well, unless you decide that you do have something to tell me, I'll go chat with that nice old lady. But you should know, concrete is especially hard on brittle bones. And if she doesn't talk, I'll just move on to the next one, and the 
next until I find someone who does. So do you have something you want to tell me? Or do you prefer that I move on to your friends here? said, I'm a conduit, all right? I caught it a second ago from, from that guy. Oh, you caught it. Very funny. Ah! God! Telson! Ah! So, Betty, maybe you can give me a straight answer. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I'm told that hurts. Stop her. Oh, my God. Betty. Dawson, dear, you're awake. So did Augustine do this to you? Yeah, don't you think I was going to rat you out to that ornery trot? Besides... At the time, it seemed like all the cool kids were getting their legs pierced. So that means everyone here... We're a comish. We protect our own. No one here blames you for what happened. Yeah. Neither should you. Hey. Can't be ashamed for what you are. Can't help it. You were born that way. It matters is I'm one of them now. You are not one of those beady-eyed bioterrorists who go around killing people higgly piggly. You're a good boy. Just happen to have smoke coming out of your fingers. It's the whole reason why we're in this is smoke coming out of my fingers. Hey. Don't go down that road. If you're going to be such a buzzkill, I'm going to have to go back to sleep because I need my rest so that I can get better and get on my feet again. And I can rest now because you're awake. You know, don't you worry. I'm going to be fine. Really? Mm-hmm. Just see. Lose you there. A little concrete in the legs. It's a thing more than that. 
Oh. Glad to see fast healing seems to be a part of your new, uh, thing. Uh, speaking of which, um, the craziness with the hands, is that gone? I don't know, man. There's no smoking in the longhouse, remember? All right. And I wouldn't want to get in the way of anyone's recovery. Recovery? Hey, Delson, these, these people aren't getting any better. They're dying, man. You don't know that. No, but the doctors who came through here when you were out, they do. And they said that... They said the only way those shards are coming out is the exact same way they went in. What? Yeah. But that, that was Augustine and her concrete power. Yeah. Then screw it, man. Looks like you and me are going to Seattle and we're gonna go get her. Whoa, 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 wait, what? You think you're just gonna charm her into coming back here with you? Come on, man, I know you took a bump to the head, but you two didn't exactly hit it off last time you were together. Reggie, I did this, and I gotta fix it. No, damn it, Dustin, you just got back on your feet. Look, I know you want to help, but the doctors have already said the only- The only way it's getting out is with the same power, I get it. Which means... We don't actually need Augustine. We just need her power. <laughs> okay, now you've lost me. I'm a goddamn power sponge, remember? If I got smoke, why can't I get concrete? <laughs> yeah, but what, what if smoke was just a fluke, huh? I mean, think about it, you'd have to go through, a, what, a thousand DUP guys just to get to her? Yeah, probably something like that. I'll explain in the truck. <laughs> what truck? I don't have a truck, I... That's my truck. All right, I got this whole thing figured out, okay? We, we hit the town, we load up at the all-you-can-leech condo at Power Buffet, we maybe swing by the Space Needle, always wanted to see it, and then we're back home to save some lives. You do realize when we hit the town, there's a fair chance the town's gonna, you know, Head back. What does that even mean? It means that Seattle has half a million people that aren't exactly thrilled about the bioterrorists that are already there. You think they're gonna welcome you? No, but I'm gonna be different, okay? Oh, I'm okay. not there doing what they do. I'm there to save lives. I'm gonna be like Superman. I'll be yeah. healing the sick. The hero. And... What, you think they're gonna throw you a parade? Wake up, man. Look. Don't worry, Dell, all right? We're gonna fix this thing. I'm gonna find you a cure. A cure? But shooting smoke out of your fingertips isn't exactly normal, man. Just because it's not normal doesn't mean that it needs a cure, okay? Van Gogh wasn't normal. Gandhi wasn't normal. Yeah, but people weren't scared of Gandhi, all right? People are afraid of bioterrorists. They're freaks. See, that's pre-programmed bull... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Great. Huh. Well, looks like we're walking the rest of the way. <laughs> Walk? What? Yeah. Where are you going? Hey! Damn it. Holy crap, would you look at this. Uh, look, you know, if you're having second thoughts, I complete... Are you kidding me? This is amazing! <laughs> This is destruction. This is self-defense, man. The roadblock was set up to attack them. Yeah, because they're bioterrorists. Well, it didn't stop them, and it's not gonna stop this bad boy either. Man, this is like a post-apocalyptic... Oh, this must be the mothership. Jesus, Delson! Hey, are you okay? Okay? I'm better than okay, man. I think I picked up a new trick. Yep! <laughs> oh, God. yeah. Definitely new and improved. Delson, this is not improved, man. We're trying to fix the problems you already have, not add new ones. What do you think? Augustine is just sitting on her ass? 
I gotta power up if I'm gonna go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Concrete Queen. Hey, I'm hoping to avoid that. Listen, there might be another way that we can get to Augustine. What other way? I, what other I way? I have a few connections in Seattle, right? Some in the police force. No, if no, 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 no. This is not the point where Reggie swoops in and makes everything all right. That's this is not your problem to fix. It is mine. Oh, is somebody there? Can you hear me? There. Perfect. You want to go help somebody? Go save damsel in distress. Anyone? That's not... Right. Fine. We both go. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. You I go need... play Super Cop, okay? I will catch up with you in a minute. All right, but don't go anywhere. And for God's sake, don't touch anything! I'm gonna touch everything. Hello. You're up first, little guy. I'm trying to convince him to just abandon the bus. I don't want to leave all the medical supplies. On top. Well, just tell him to hold on. I'll get the bus unstuck. Nelson, I know what you're thinking, and don't. Dude, I just took out a fleet of quadcopters. I think I can dig out a bus. Okay, looks like the rest of the way is clear. I'm gonna ride this baby straight into Seattle. Listen, we got a problem. Some of the people on the bus, they saw you doing your super thingy to clear the way. And? And they're afraid of you. What? Look, I told you, man. Bioterrorists aren't especially popular. This is what am I, like Rosa Parks and they want me to sit on the back of the bus? No, they want you to sit outside the bus. Look, they don't want you in here, right? They said if you come on, they're gonna get off. Then let them walk. I don't care. You think I can't take this door down? You are not gonna do that. These people have never seen anything like you before, and they're scared, right? And I can't blame them. He says he's gonna break down the door. Go! Sir! Just give me a second! Look, just let me run them across the bridge. I'll come right back for you, all right? It'll take five minutes. Come on, man. I can't let you on the bus. Five minutes. Sounds like useful information. Nelson, I got the aid workers across the DUP. Clearing the bridge. Coming back for you, so... Is you there? What's going on? Hello? Hey! Hey! You guys need any help? Oh, shit. A bioterrorist! It's one of those it's freaks! It's okay. Whoa! No, 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 no! Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, this fast healing stuff is gonna come in real handy. Hey, look, man, I just want to get through the tunnel. Okay, okay, I'll give up, okay? Just don't hurt me! Oh. My. God. This was a bridge?
coming, Reg. Uh oh, running on fumes here. The shot. Pitching are we huh? Delson! All right, all right, all right, come on. I got it. Thanks for the hand. Huh. Check it out. Wow. You seem to be getting the hang of your uh, new symptoms, right? <laughs> and of course, the only downside being that. Uh... Nope. Can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> really? No downside? How about those heavily armed guys over there now want to hurt you real bad? That a downside? Yeah. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal bioterrorist. So... Normal? No, no, if you mean by normal, you know, the sheep that they try to line up so that they can probe them. No, Reggie, I'm not normal. And did you see what I did on that bridge? We could take these Look, guys. Let's just see if we can sneak you through their checkpoints first, all right? It'll make getting around the city a lot easier. Okay, fine, fine. Do it your way. I'll settle. Listen, promise me you'll play it cool up ahead. Hey, they used to call me Mr. Cool. No one has ever once called you that. Ever. Are you really worried about this? These DUP guys may not have the same level of power that you... that natural bioterrorists have, but the government infused them all with enough to still do some serious damage. Well, you have just officially ruined my Seattle vacation. How long did you say I was out for? One week. Wow. That means the DUP put all of this up to... Yep. Oh, they've kept busy. Nelson, got access to the Seattle Police Database. Turns out, the DUP has eyes and ears everywhere. Well, let's gouge out their eyes and slice off their ears. All right, I've got you on my GPS. Not far from one of their mobile command centers. If you can shut that down, it'll limit their ability to track your movement. Mobile command center, got it. So, what exactly does one of those look like? Well, it should be a large, heavily armored mobile unit with side ports and major communications gear on top. Alright, I think I see it. A uh, badass RV with lights and metal crap on top. Okay, great. There should be vent panels along the sides. If you blow out enough of those, the core should overheat and be exposed. Okay, blow out the panels. Got it.
You must be back up. I think I prefer the smaller guys. They are really stepping up their game. Definitely prefer the smaller guys. That's you, big fella. Oh, crap. Well, did it work? Uh, no time to check, man. I got dupes coming at me from every direction. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, great advice. Reggie, I've used up all the core relays you sent, man. Come on, I need more. No, man, that's all you get. I mean, this bioterrorist thing has you all worked up. You Find some place to lay low and chill out for a while. What is it with you and laying low? I'm fine. I'm great. Give me more. No. Now, I'm working on a possible lead with a detective on the SPD, but we're not moving forward until I'm convinced your head's on straight. Okay, okay, I'll lay low. Whatever the hell that means. Nelson, I've got some information on the DUP's communications network. Now, there's a central antenna so they can coordinate the movements of all the smaller districts. All right, any idea where this central communication thing is? Well, you did say you wanted to see it while you were here. Shut up, Space Needle? Space Needle. Okay, Reg, I'm here, and you were right. The needle's tricked out with all kinds of electrical crap and what looks like a bad aluminum siding job. You're gonna have to get to the top of the needle. It's a nice day. I'll just climb to the climb. top. Climb. No, no, no. Don't be crazy. Right, hey, man, it's not crazy to be awesome. Hey, Reg, hypothetical, you know, theoretical, totally what-if question here, but... What would be the explanation for how I might be able to draw the power from some conduits, say, oh, I don't know, Hank, and not others, like one of these dupe troopers? Oh my god, so you did try earlier. Hey, I'm not looking for an I told you so here, Reg. I'm just looking for an answer. All right, time to gouge out the eye of the needle. And that must be what holds it all together. What the hell? Oh, I haven't seen you before. Reg, man, they got a small army up here. Good. You're in the right place. Or that they really don't like other people playing with their stuff. Come on, focus, Delson. Do you see any way to take down the communications? Yeah, yeah, there's this uh, anchor. Looks like it's holding all the... This is going to be epic! See? That wasn't so bad. There. 
Isn't that better? Woo! That's a rush. It goes away. Hello, Science Center District. I lost you. Do you read me? I'm getting nothing, sir. You? Nothing outside our immediate area. Yeah, Reg. Let's go find us some prime conduits and get some new powers. We own the streets! Take it easy. A few streets in the immediate vicinity, right? The DUP still owns the other 98%. But we kicked them off the Space Needle, man. You knocked out their comm center, okay? They may be deaf, but they're not dumb. Kicking the DUP completely out of Seattle is gonna take time. We just got here. You know what they say, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single kick-ass tag. Who, who says that? The Chinese people. Hey, Reg. You see it from down there? <laughs> Are you kidding? People in Portland can see it. I just want to let the dupes know I'm here, man. Who the hell is that? That's not one of the three who escaped. Bannerman. <laughs> Pretty lame, right? Bioterror? Yeah. You know, that's just a slur invented by the DUP to make people scared of conduits, man. Look, whatever you want to call him, let's just track him down. Find out what he can tell us about Augustine. And drain his powers. Okay, fine. And drain his powers. I'm telling you, it's gonna work. All right, they just found a body of Fifth and Briar. Go check it out. But promise me, you'll be inconspicuous. Yeah. Well, found the victim. Definitely the work of a conduit. It's very... showy. Okay, I need you to take a couple pictures of the crime scene and send them to me. Anything that might give us a lead. There's your wounds. What kind of power did this? Fire blast or lasers? Ooh, what about flesh-eating death gaze? <laughs> I wouldn't mind absorbing a little flesh-eating death gaze, right? <sighs> Delson, even if the guy who did this is a prime conduit, we still don't know if this power transfer thing's even gonna work. Well, you know what? If it does, my first victim, it's gonna be the guy who came up with the name Bannerman. Bro, you really need to let that go. Okay, sending you the picture, but I think he blinked. Uh, Reg, I'm hearing sirens, man. Yeah, let me check real quick. Just cordoned off the area. I've warned the Seattle PD to stay away. Has to be the conduit. I'll check it out. Don't impale me! Be I come careful. in peace. Real original advice. It's okay! It's okay, I'm one of you! I mean, 
One of us! Well, one thing this place tells us is that our sniper is a sniperette. Wait, what? <laughs> you should see this, Reg. It's like the girliest sniper's nest you've ever seen. What? What does that even mean? I, I don't know. It's just girled up. Girl stuff. Like the name Brent burned into the wall in girly handwriting. And it is definitely the best smelling assassin's den you could ever be in. Okay. Uh, look, just send me photos of anything you think might help. Hey, I got a hit on the photo. Name's Brent Walker. One arrest two years ago for minor drug possession. Get this. Found dead two months later in an alley. Cause of death? A single puncture wound of unknown origin through the chest. I'm sending you the address now. Yeah, our girls definitely got a thing against drug dealers. <sighs> sure seems like it. It's weird though, man. If she's just killing drug dealers, then why do the news reports make it sound like she's picking off random victims like it could be anybody? Yeah? Well, you'd think the DUP would want people to know the killings weren't random. That if you're not a drug dealer, you're not in danger. That'd sure bring the panic level down. So you're saying what? The DUP is trying to scare people? I mean, their job is to control... All right, I'm at the alley, but there's a bunch of heavily armed dudes here. Looks like a drug deal's going down. I hate to go all cop on you, but it is the duty of every citizen to step up when they witness a crime in progress. So now you do want me killing people with my powers? I didn't say kill them, just rough them up, scare them a little, and destroy their stash. Wow, I'm impressed with your impulse control. Um, but maybe you should wait up by the neon sign, yeah? Might be less conspicuous that way. Besides, she'll probably head there to recharge. Yeah, plus there's probably less people I want to kick the crap out of up there. That too. It, it was the Bible. By the way, what I was quoting, it was the Bible, if you, were, if you were wondering. I wasn't. Okay, this is good. Surveillance. Hobo style. Smells good. Why didn't I take some cash off those dealers? Money, why do you hate me? Be my friend, Money. Come to me. Let's bond. No! It's okay! God! Ah, not this again. Just like last time, Delson. Concentrate. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting away. I got this now. She's too fast. Got to calm down, all right? Just relax. You're not taking me wanna... back! I am not going back to Curtin Cave! Good <sighs> girl.
As a little girl, I never thought it'd be me. That I'd be one of them. My powers were a surprise. My parents turned me in. They knew what the government would do to people like me, and they did it anyway. I didn't know what to do, but... My brother Brent just grabbed our coats, and we ran. Those were hard days on the street. Moving from city to city, no comfort anywhere. Until we met some dealers, and man, they hooked us up. The drugs. The drugs were heaven. But then we always wanted more. And the withdrawal. Agony. Always looking for a fix. And when you lose your stash, when you think someone stole it from you, the drugs, the dealers, they make you do things they... The government picked me up easy enough after that. But it wasn't a regular jail. They trained me to shoot, taught me how to kill. So on the day of the crash, I escaped with all those skills. Everything I needed to set things right. Brent, I promise. Every dealer I find, I'm gonna burn your name in their chest. No one else is gonna suffer like we did. And no brother. Nobody else. <laughs> hey, Nelson. Nelson, you all right, brother? What happened? Oh, you did good. You did good, buddy. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, you did good. I know just where to put filth like this. Somewhere where Augustine won't find her, and she won't be hurting anybody else. Hey, no, 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 no. She's just killing drug dealers, man. Killing? Nelson, murdering drug dealers. What do you think I'm doing to the DUP? What you have to to save the Akomish back home. She stays free. No. Dude, no way. Look, just because you have the same affliction, not gift, affliction. Doesn't mean that we're gonna pick up every little piece of trash we find. Look, I'm never going to abandon you, all right? Not ever. This one goes in a cage. Hey! It should be my responsibility! Yeah, because responsibility is not exactly something you excel at. I got this. Fine. I'm here for the tribe of the Holland bioterrorists. I'm a conduit! He's cool. He's normally cool. He's just... Not today. Yeah. Let's talk. All right, Reg, sorry. I... Oh, look who it is. What, is the meeting of the Conduit Club finally over? I just wanted to talk to her, okay? To see if maybe she could help us out. Oh, you are not doing the pouting Reggie thing, are you? you no, know I hate that. But you know someone like that shouldn't be free to roam the streets. Uh, are you forgetting who else is someone like that? Not the same. You're different. Yes, I know. I'm your brother. And your brother is asking for your help and trying to stay alive. If you won't do it for me, then do it for the tribe. Fine, what do you need? Thank you. I need to see what else this new power can do, and you are my go-to guy when it comes to finding the core relays. There, I sent it. For the tribe and you. Thank you. I'll let you know what I get. No, I don't want to know what you get. Goodbye, pouting Reggie. Hey, there it is. Go ahead and get your convulsion on.
You first. and your powers to steal. Okay, promise you won't be mad. But th the good news is you can start without me. Oh, face the danger alone? Gee, that is good news. Listen, I found out a major drug shipment came in a couple days ago and it's stored on some boats there at the marina. All right, on some boats at a marina. That's all the details I need. It's a big shipment, so it'll probably be houseboats. And this group uses a dolphin as sort of their mark, so I'd look for anything on a boat with a dolphin on it. Better. But don't wait for me. You never know when they'll start offloading that stuff. So what held you up? Girl stuff. Ew, what kind of girl stuff? Putting some serious hurt on this drug dealing scumbag until he sold out his friends and told me all about this goddamn drug shipment. Hello? Any women of ill repute being held hostage on this boat against their will? There's somebody in the truck. All right, ladies. Emma, let's go. Yes, the bad men are gone. Go, live, love. Just not professionally. If you want to get clean, now's the time. There won't be any more drugs on the street. Don't screw it up. And they're gone. Do you think a couple of low-life bioterrorists will ever get thanked for saving people? Yeah. I think you might have saved me. Oh. So what, are you gonna give up on your whole ritualistic murdering of drug dealers? It's like half your charm. Oh, yeah? What's the other half? Actually, that was it. You... just the one charm. Don't worry, I'm not giving up on my passions. Just... finding some new ones. Oh! Like boxing. Oh. <laughs> Is that, like, your whole attempt at a tender moment? Ugh. You are a sentimental psychopath, aren't you? Come on, let's just get the rest of these drugs in the harbor. Maybe we can get a few fish strung out. Man, hook a dolphin. Hey. Uh, you like me. <laughs> hey, just woke up. We're gone. Yeah, I gotta go hook up with the other woman in my life. <laughs> Honestly, what does she have that I don't? Concrete power? <laughs> you guys, I'll answer the same thing. By the way, I think your brother would have been real proud of what you did. I mean, killing the dealers, destroying the drugs, and freeing the sex slaves, right? Of course. Well, I'm sure he would have loved me, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think if he'd have seen me with those boats and drugs from dealers, he'd have been proud of his kid, sis. We done good, see? I'd like to see those lion-ass TV talkers make this look bad. Target sighted! Up there! Oh, bad move, man! This is gonna be awesome! Automatic turrets! This is so cheating! Fetch, I just left a trail of bodies and bulls across this bridge. Fetch? Goddamn girls in their short attention spans. Oh well, Lantern District, here I come. You know that? So you recognize me? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the one that had me dead to rights a couple weeks ago and just let me walk away. You've changed since then. You mean the smoke thing? Yeah, that's new. <laughs> I hear you've learned a new trick. You've expanded your arsenal. I, I don't know where you heard that. I mean, I'm, I'm just a lowly smoke guy. We'll see. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's doing nothing for me. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I, you know, lied about the neon thing, but listen, I think I can save us both a lot of time here. I just need to leech a little power off you, that's it. You want me to just give you my power? I mean, not enough to sink bridges or anything, but enough to pull the concrete daggers out of my friends, yeah. And then after that, you will never see me again. I've got a better idea. Could you be useless to me back in your little hovel? How about you stay here with me? I kind of like my idea better. Dawson. You disappoint me. No. Whoa! Hold down. Hold down. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hey, Eugene, I'm thinking the easiest thing to do here is somehow drop the road a little, you know, pull the rug out from underneath him? Well, you could just blow it off. No, I can't take the chance it'll kill the conduit I'm looking for. I think I'm just gonna cut the supports, and then the trucks will make it drop a little. Bam! Instant roadblock. Okay. See, man, this is why I'm such a big fan. I wish I could be there to see it. Well, come on out and watch. But, you know, from a safe distance, of course. Because when we conduits go to work, you mortals better give us a wide berth. Right. All right. Well, uh, you know what? On second thought, then, I'm going to stay home. I'll let you know if I find anything more about the conduit, though. Shit. Damn it. <laughs> Suckers. Hey, Eugene, talk to me, man. What am I looking for in this convoy? I don't know. I mean, they're moving a lot of prisoners, so maybe look for some buses? Whoa, what was that? Uh, helicopters? Whole pack of them. I don't think they can see me in the fog.
Eugene, those buses are long gone. Any chance you know where they went? Uh, I don't know. Radio chatters all over the place. I can't figure out where they're headed. Wait, wait. You're tapped into the DUP right now? How the hell did you pull that off? Uh, just this phone app I've been tinkering with. Here, I'll send you a link. Okay, got it. Uh, so, what's it do? It's a signal tracker. You can listen in on the DUP's communication. But the cool thing is you can also use it to pinpoint the direction the signal is coming from. Man, <laughs> we're gonna have to take this thing out for a test drive. What in the hell have I walked in on? Angels? Are you kidding me right now? So either one of those escapees can make angels, or I'm going after God. And I do not like my odds in that matchup. Let's see, if I had one of these things on, I would want to get it off as fast as possible because, well, because they're butt ugly. And I guess because they just scream, attack me, I'm a suspected bioterrorist. So you want some place private to get undressed with a door that locks? Place to sit while you changed. A porta potty would be perfect. You'd kill two birds with one stone. Which of you are hiding there? Don't you Not a great start. Hey, Delson, I'm in the Lantern District. You still here? Yeah, about time you made it across. What the hell's going on? I leave you on your own for a couple hours and suddenly there's angels dive bombing people. Gotta have something to do with the conduit we're looking for. I set free a bunch of prisoners the dupes were moving. I think one of them might be our guy. Well, lucky for you, Big Brother's here. Finding escapees is what I do. Well, be on the lookout for anyone in a black and yellow vest. I saw one on the ground in uh, Hing Hang Market. Looked like a bitch to get off. Locks all over it. Gotta say, little brother, getting the hang of this manhunt thing. Maybe when we get back home, I'll deputize you. Can have a job for a change. Whoa, no thanks. One cop in the family is embarrassing enough. What? What do you think? I mean, there's a little bit of pain putting on, especially in there. It's like somebody had some Thai food. But what do you think? Chase me. You want me to chase you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase me, shoot me. Uh, shoot near me. Near me. And we'll see what happens when one of the angels shows up. Yeah, because I've got a really good batting average with the Angels right now. If they take you, man, they take you to God yeah, knows where. I know. Okay, but look, you know how you're always losing your phone and then you grab mine and find it? Right. Right, well, we have a GPS link. So you're like a big, ugly tracking device, okay? Right, but look, we got to make this look real, okay? Not too real, just real enough to fool the Angels. You get me? Oh, I can get you right between the eyes. No, no, just... Don't be a dick. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh, I'm gonna be a dick. Ah, fear me! I am a bioterrorist! Run away! My idea! Do you want my help or not? Oh, no. I'll never surrender! Video Angels, I should have seen that coming. Is that all you got? You fight like cherubim! Oh, lights are starting to flicker, better get some more power. 
I never like commercials anyway. Oh. Where did Reggie end up? It worked, didn't it? Ugh. Found the angel conduit slayer, now we can go take him out. Come on, you come with me or what? Uh, I'm gonna take this shit off. Then I'm gonna go cry myself to sleep. There's gotta be a ton of weird, spiky shit down there, and that, brother, that's all you. Oh my god. Don't walk away mad. <laughs> you, it was your plan. <sighs> Eugene, I wanted to thank you for your help. I found the conduit's hideout and about to go inside. That's a bad idea. Come on, he's a conduit that doesn't even do his own fighting. How hard can it be? No, no, really, don't go in there. All right, I'll call you when it's over. All right, time to learn a few new tricks. Okay, so this is where they make angels. Hello? Anybody home? Okay, not what I imagined from the outside. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, bigger than I'd hoped. Oh, I am. school, I always tried to blend in, to fade into the background, to disappear. But the bullies found me anyway. They always do. The only place I felt I belonged was in Heaven's Hellfire. In that game, I made the rules. I could summon angels to protect the victims and demons to punish the bullies. But the real world? That... 
That I couldn't control. A at first, I did my best to ignore them. Until that one day, when they pushed me too far. When the DUP came, they said they were taking me to a new school, designed for people like me, different. For six years, she hooked me up to her machines. She made me call them out, always, always stopping before they could save me. Then that crash. That was my chance to finally really disappear where no one could find me and hurt me but when I saw them rounding up more people who were different I knew what she was gonna do to them I, I knew I knew we had to stop her It's starting to get old. Oh, it sounded like you were in trouble, so I came running. You yeah. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, man. I couldn't have done without you. Oh, wait, I already did. Speaking of, man, you're not gonna believe what I can do now. As soon as I figure out what it is that I can do. What poor thing is you got a kidnapper off the streets? Whoa, whoa, bro. Not kidnapper. He's more like a rescuer. Delson, listen to me. He took suspected conduits right off the street yeah. against their will. That's kidnapping. Okay, don't go anywhere. First of all, thank you for using the word conduit. Second of all, why are you being such a dick? Look, fine. Let's just agree to disagree. But we both know it's better for everyone if he goes in a cage. Just hang out for a second. Can I talk to you? I thought you were all about rule of law, not locking up people without due process. Hey, normally, that's what I do. Oh, what, so it just gets thrown out the window whenever it's convenient for you, is that it? Just put a red wig and an old trench coat on, you start calling you Augustine. <laughs> no, maybe next Halloween. Cool, so Game Boy and I over there are gonna have a little conversation conduit to conduit. No normals allowed? Fine. If you need me, be right outside, okay? Ellen, thank you for all your help. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, wait, I you already, already did. did. I know, it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> so, what do you say, Eugene? You, me, a couple of conduits hit the town. You show me some of your new video tricks. I show you how to pick up some girls. Maybe rescue some of our marked brethren. I don't think so. But I still feel safer in here. Come on, man. You keep staying down here and playing angels and demons. You're never gonna get laid. Listen, man. It's your life. But there is a way for us to live out there in the real world. But it's up to us to make it happen. You think about that, you let me know, okay? Time to check out the new arsenal. Not a great start. No, no, this isn't the deal. Getting a little scary. Reggie, man, I need you. I... All of my powers are gone. I got nothing new from Eugene or any of the old stuff. What? what? Hey, stay where you are. I'm coming. No, no, it's... It's, it's too open here. GPS says there's, there's an alley a few blocks away. All right, I got it. I'll meet you there. Thank God you're here, Reg. I need your help. Wait, wait, slow down. Did you say you lost... All of your powers? Yes, I lost all my powers. I, I, I lost smoke, I lost neon, I never even got Listen, video. Listen, this is great. This is great news, man. 
the hell is this great news? I've got a thousand dupes after me, and I've got nothing to go on. Remember, we said we were going to find a cure for you, and this is it. I mean, all that bioterrorist stuff, it's gone. Delson, we can go home now. Go home? Listen, you have given it your best, all right? The tribe knows that, I know that. But it is a miracle you are even still alive. I mean, please, can't we just quit while you're ahead for once? Tell me the truth. If you were me, would you just quit and go home? Absolutely. If I were you. No. So I Wait. don't care if I have to throw rocks. I am gonna get Augustine. But since I'd rather avoid the whole David and Goliath throwing rocks scenario, I really need your help. Yeah, well, it sounds like you've already made up your mind, so why do you need me? Well, if I'm gonna have any chance of getting any powers back, it's gonna be through one of these core relays. Of course. But, damn it, Reg, I can't crack one of these things without any powers, all right? So I, I don't actually need you, I, I, I need your gun. <laughs> no, 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 no. You are not getting my gun and that is final. You... <laughs> Jeez. But maybe I will let you have a couple of my bullets. Thanks, man. So, I know I'm gonna regret asking, but what's new? You might want to stand back. Ah, good thing I stood back. Well, maybe the next one will have, like, projectiles or, you know, some kind of bashing. I'll call and let you know. Oh, no. I'm coming with you. No, 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 you're not. I got this. Listen, uh, unless you're planning to open the next core relay with invisibility, you still need me. Besides, you don't know where it is. Oh, yeah. I think it, and I create it. Jackpot! Yeah, well, I hope so, because we got a ton of DUP heading our way. Never saw me coming. See? <laughs> How cool is this? Delson? Hey, I said get for high cover! Eugene, it's Delson. Listen, you're uh, flying friends. They've probably done some aerial recon around here, right? Yeah. Good. Then I need you to help me find something. You know those glowing boxes the dupes put up around town? Uh, sure. Hold on. Hey, there's one not far from you. Thanks. Oh, hey, uh, I've seen a couple of those suspected bioterrorists still getting harassed on the streets. What do you say? We got this new sword, we can help them out. How cool is that sword, right? I know, right? Here comes heaven, hell, and Delson! Oh man, Eugene, you've been holding out on me. Uh, you know, just something to think about. Heaven, hell, Delson, and Eugene. No, 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 you want the billing? You gotta get out here and get your hands dirty. I, I don't know. I'm not very good with people. Shut up, you're great with people. Didn't you hear the guy you just saved shouting, Eugene is the best! How did he know my name? Hell if I know, man. Maybe you ask the next one in person. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to help out a few more people. Atta boy! You just let me know when you're ready. 
Reg, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, man. I... First of all, I'm glad to hear you're still alive. And second of all... But wait till you see what I can do, man. I've got swords and I've got missiles and demons swooping... Open up, it's me! Hey, Delson! What, you move the clubhouse? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, man. Well, no, you're gonna rock and roll. I'm gonna stick to the shadows. What? You know, stealth. Right. Stealth. All right, stealth, what's the plan? Uh, you know all those suspected bioterrorists we freed from the DUP? Well... I actually remember it being a rescue party of one, but go on. Uh, it turns out the Akuran gang's been rounding them up and holding them at a construction site near here. They're planning to sell them back to the DUP. Great. Why don't we go get them? Well, uh, don't worry. I'm sending my friends there. And by friends, I hope you mean an army of archangels and not Melvin and Lenny from your D&D &D group? I don't have a D&D &D group. Eugene, seriously, man, you've got to lighten up. Okay, buddy, I'm here. Where are your friends? Uh, they're on their way, but you need to check the interior of the site, and they're not so good in enclosed spaces. Angels are claustrophobic. Great. Anything else I should know about my backup? Uh, they're not so great in water either. Well, that makes two of us. Damn. Those occurrence are good at hiding people. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait, I'm here in choppers, man. Get to the roof. DUP helicopters are picking up shipping containers there. And the conduits must be inside. Damn it, too late. No, no, see my angels? Don't shoot the choppers! You're gonna get the conduits killed! Oh, sure. Just jump on the moving shipping containers four stories off the ground. <laughs> You see, this is the kind of fun stuff you miss when you stick to the shadows. Once you're on a container, just break the winch attaching them to the choppers. My angels can catch the containers if they fall. Solid plan. Just don't shoot my angels. They're the only thing keeping those containers in reach. Eugene, you got any more angels you can send my way? Uh, yeah, look, but it might take a while. Nah, uh -uh, I haven't got a while. Gonna use up all the ones I got in about two minutes. No, 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 look, this isn't supposed to happen. Don't flake on me now, man. I, I, look, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Eugene, no, 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 stay with me. Eugene? Eugene? Come on, man, please tell me you did not just leave me at the altar. Oh, Eugene, buddy, please tell me that's you. 
Oh, you guys are gonna hate this. Okay, Teen Angel, soften them up for you. Eugene, when this whole thing is over, you think you can teach me how to do that? You are not worthy! You turn into a real ass when you're an angel, you know that? Okay, Teen Angel, soften them up for you. Eugene, when this whole thing is over, you think you can teach me how to do that? You are not worthy! You turn into a real ass when you're an angel, you know that? What took you? Well, look who decided to join the real world. Yeah, you convinced me. Figured I'd give people one more chance. Well, on behalf of people, thank you. Yeah, well, worst that can happen, they let me down again. I ran Hellfire on their asses. Oh. There you go, kid. Happy thoughts. Delson, you near a TV? Ever since Eugene, I try to stay close. News reported an explosion at the tower, then immediately retracted. Try to find a good vantage point to scope things out. Red, you're right. They're scrambling, but no one's firing. And now they're ordering all Seattle PD out of an area near the waterfront. Must be something they don't want anybody to see. I hope they don't mind if I take a look. Sounds like they've carpeted the group with APCs. Stick to the rooftops. Reds are scorch marks everywhere. Looks like my handiwork. Oh, so there's another smoke conduit. Shouldn't surprise you. There's not just one of each. I don't know. I guess I was just hoping for something new. Show me what you mean by handiwork. Wow. So this is what it looks like when you... I've avoided looking up close. Hey, man, they do the same thing to me. Here, another one. Situation team respond. Situation team respond. DUP helmet. Still working? Reg, this conduit man, they're saying it's that guy, Hank. Well, I, I thought you said she killed him back in Salmon Bay. She did, or I thought she did. I mean, I saw her kill him. I mean, he's dead. I'm, I'm sure of it. Keep looking. Hey, Delson, you gotta call a girl when you decide to go on a rampage in downtown. Uh, that's not me. Well, I got a great view of somebody smoking the hell out of dupe choppers. But you can see them? Where are you? On top of a building near 12th and Union. Why do you care about this guy? You already got smoke. Because I think this might be the guy who was on that transport with you, the one I got my powers from. You mean that big sweaty guy, Hank? Yes, and if he busted out of Augustine's tower, then maybe he can help me figure out a way to break in. 
Why don't you come with me and help? No. No, that guy is bad news. I think I'll just, you know, sit back and watch the fireworks. Delson, just watch yourself. I don't trust the bald redneck. Sure, but I'm not exactly helpless, all right? Besides, he and I have got something in common. We've got no love for Augustine. Yeah. Good luck. Hank, I need your help! Hank, go to get it! How'd you get this number? You listed. Sorry about the thing with the sucker punch before, but uh, I knew there was no talking to you until you calmed down. You calmed down. I swear, man. When I get my hands on you, I'm... I'll call you back in a half hour. No, no, no. Wait. I'm, I'm calm. You sure? Because so far you've been all about chasing and shouting and wailing away at me. I'm going to take Augustine down, but I need your help to do it. I could sign on for something like that. Great. Then we should... Hold on. The DUP guys around here are scrambling. Something's up. I'll check it out, and I'll Reggie, call you it's back. me. Delson, thank God. You disappeared on me. Sorry, look, I caught up with Hank. He wants to work with us to get to Augustine. What? No, I, I'm not so sure that's a good idea, man. Come on, you know what, big brother? You worry too much. Yeah, maybe you just don't worry enough. Listen, be careful and watch your back. You worry too much? No, not enough. Hank, what's up? Listen, kid, I've been thinking. When you was chasing me across those buildings with all the helicopters and all before... Right. Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry about all that. I... No, I was just going to say, you clearly been getting the hang of those smoke tricks I gave you. Well, I uh, kind of need you to teach me one more. You managed to escape our tower once. How'd you get past those electrified barricades? There's a transformer on a roof across the way. You got to shut down. But it ain't going to do you no good. She got the whole thing armored up and half the DUP forces standing guard. Right, but maybe if we both work together... Hey, my specialty's breaking out of places like that, not in. Listen. We both got our reasons for getting to Augustine. She got something each of us wants. But we gotta do it on our terms, not hers. We gotta draw her out of her castle and out here, where we stand a chance. Well, any ideas? Well, you know them two kids that was on the armored bus with me? Fetch and Eugene. I guess. Anyways, DUP's got them. What? Just happened. That was all the commotion before. Guess you needed to reel them in to make up for me getting loose. She's sending them out to that big concrete platform the DUP built between the two islands. Well, then we gotta help them. Now, there's a pier right across from that platform. Meet me there just after sunset. I'll be there. Reggie, Eugene and Fetch, they- I heard, I heard. Hank and I, we've worked out a plan to storm the island and take out whatever dupes are guarding them in the- Nelson, I've been thinking, there have been a lot of innocent people killed lately. Normal people. Normal? Jesus, Reg. We're not going back to that, are we? Look, I'm not sure I can help you add to that count, all right? Just to set a couple of bioterrorists free. Reggie... I'm a cop. I'm supposed to prevent this kind of thing. Just give me a call when it's over and we'll head back to Salmon Bay. And Delson, watch out for Hank. I'll trust him. Reg, what, what are you doing here? Look, those are people over there. They need our help. Not bioterrorists, not conduits. People. Well, thank you. And thank you for, for being here, so... What's cop doing here? He's my brother, okay? He's, he's here for me. So, what are you thinking? <clears throat> I've been doing some recon. 
Our best bet's the dock on the far side. It's less exposed. Figure you two can do your smoke gift Thank and you. draw their attention out front. I'll commandeer a boat and go in during the distraction. Why are you going in first? Because I'm a cop. Which means I can commandeer a boat and it's legal. You steal a boat, I'm gonna haul your ass in. Oh, he'll do it, too. Um, so we'll see you inside, right? Yeah, see you inside. Stay safe, boy. Now listen, we get out there and start making noise, Augustine will come running. Come on, I know a way into the island we won't be seen. You explain what happened. I saw Augustine kill you back in... You saw her shut me up was what you saw. Big difference. Shouldn't have brought the cop, man. That's a mistake. Now, huh, listen, funny. We get out there and start the making noise. Augustine you. will come running. Come on. I know a way into the island. We won't be seen. You explain what happened. I saw Augustine kill you back in... You saw her shut me up was what you saw. Big difference. Shouldn't have brought the cop, man. That's a mistake. Huh, funny. Said the same thing about you. Here she is. We pop in here, she'd come out smack dab in the middle of the thing. You sure about this? Hey, when I was in that tower, I saw things. One more thing. They got one of them drone things out there. The ones you get powers from. How do you know about that? Sure would be nice to get a new power before stomping on Augustine. Let's go. Okay, here's the plan. We start cracking these support pillars, they feel the rumbling, and the guards come down to check it out. We'll take them out, and Augustine will come running. Ha <laughs> ha, what'd I tell you? Sorry I didn't trust you, man. Damn straight! I'm just getting started! You about ready for a new power? Well, look, how, how did you... Come on, you should be here any minute. What? All of a sudden you don't trust me? I don't know, man. Something's not right. Maybe I should call Reggie. Hey! Henry, you didn't disappoint me. I did like you asked. You just do like you promised. You son of a bitch! I trusted you! Never trust a convict. I see we found something in your size, but just to be sure. Lady, if my brother finds out what you did, oh, he is gonna... He's gonna what? Oh, you could've hit me! Yeah, that's payback for blasting me with the angels. Now, come on, get up. Come over here, I'll get those cuffs off you. This way, I'll cover you. Right? He's still alive. He's gonna come back and I can't use any powers with this concrete crap on! What the hell happened? It's a trap, man. Hank let us out here so Augustine could kill us. I told you! God, I just don't understand why he would do that to us! Because he's a bad guy, and bad guys do bad things. You may have superpowers, but it wouldn't hurt you to still listen to your brother every once in a while. Sorry, I'm out of grenades. You have to do this the old-fashioned way. What do you mean? Uh, put your hands up here. Don't flinch. I knew we couldn't trust him. Okay, okay, you were right. If I'd listened to you, we wouldn't even be here. Uh-huh. Well, as long as we are here. We should save those two people. How are we gonna get us out of here? Huh? Oh crap! Look out! Stop! Uh -huh. Leave my brother alone, you bitch! 
You too. Dad, I'm so proud of you. No. Always have been. No. Lindsay, don't. I love you, bro. No! Him! Oh, 
I'm sorry, man. You knew. You told me not to trust Tank, but I didn't listen. But I swear to you, this son of a bitch is not Where is Hank Daughtry? I know he made a deal with Augustine. Now, where is he? Where is he? Tell me where Daughtry is! What's going on? I'm here, you ain't! What the hell is the DUP here for Hank? Gotta be getting close. I guess I'll give this tracker one more shot. What do you know? Turns out I don't need you guys. It's heading to a marina, running out of dry land. I'd say me and old Hank are about to meet up again. Reggie. I didn't know, I swear to God. You didn't know? You set us up! Oh, she said she wasn't gonna hurt you! She promised she was just gonna talk! Wouldn't you believe her? Uh, she got a sadistic streak a mile wide, but I never heard tell of her actually killing a conduit. My brother would still be alive if it wasn't for you! She had my daughter. Why don't you just come with us? Just disappear. Stay safe, Hank. I'm coming, honey! It's time to get what I came for, Augustine. Citizens of Seattle, it's time to take back our city from those who seek to destroy it. Violence and risk have no place on our streets. They must be locked away, far from all decent and normal people, for the good of society. Are you kidding me? I'm the one who's been protecting society from her and her army of freaks! It has come to my attention that the bioterrorist Delson Rowe has begun another rampage. His past terrorist dreams have resulted in the deaths of hundreds of loyal DUP guardians and our fellow Seattle Heights. It's not a terrorist spree if I'm saving the innocent Delson's and sparing your horde of killers.
Leave her! It's the Duke killing people! Don't worry, Delta. We won't let the Duke play a finger on you. We know Augustine's divine power. Seattle's behind you! Good people of Seattle, I implore you. Do not allow Delta Rose to continue his murderous, bloodthirsty rampage. Delta Rose has already Maybe even a family member. Delta Rose, countless numbers of my bravest men. The UP soldiers who gave their lives to save yours. Don't let their sacrifice be in vain. Delta Rose must be brought to justice. Whatever it takes. Oh, you got it backwards, Augustine. These people have seen us both in action. They want justice? It won't be my head on the platter. Okay, the Transformer's supposed to be on a roof across from a tower. This is it, Del. Once you shut the defenses down, no turning back. So what's the plan, Conduit? You're gonna take her alive, show the world what she's done, or just kill her for what she did to Reggie? Okay, lady. Time for the world to see what you really are. Okay, I can work with that. Even if the rest of it is still active. You guys are everywhere! That's a setback. Hey D, saw a trail of bodies over in Pioneer. Side of you and followed them. Hope you don't mind. Happy to see me? I had that covered, you know. Oh, I know, but the hell you did. So this means you're along for the ride? You kidding? My two favorite people in the world in a knockdown drag out? Wouldn't miss it for the world. Hey, go! More smoke toys! Hey, Fetch! This would be a good time for some backup! Ask and ye shall receive! Gene! Man, you sure know how to level a playing field. It's good to have friends in high places. My ass? Fear not, or I shall protect you. How's it coming, Fetch? Don't rush me, thief. Don't like being rushed. Almost there. Got it. All yours, Steve. You go inside and grab Augustine. Eugene and I will keep these guys off your back. Go forth and enter the dominion of Augustine. The lady and I will cover you. Oh, good. You're here. I've been watching you, Delson Rowe. Testing you while you assembled your little bag of tricks. Very impressive. Yeah? Well, I know all about what you did, too. Using Hank to set up that crash? Making Eugene and Fetch look like monsters just so you could look like the hero? Someone has to protect the conduits. Protect? <laughs> In the seven years since my DUP took over conduit oversight from the military, not a single one of our kind has been killed. No, of course not. You just hunt them down and lock them up. Yes, in Curtin K. Protected from the mobs that want to kill conduits. It's what's best for them, whether they know it or not. You just make that decision for them, huh? Some decisions are too important. I've seen how people look at you in the street. 
Do you know how rare it is? For the powerless to embrace a conduit? You've got to use that popularity, that trust, to convince them that the only solution to the bio-terrorist menace is my DUP. Did you know that over half the conduits who died in the bloodbath seven years ago were killed by the military? If they regain control, what makes you think things won't return to those good old days? No. No, I'm gonna expose you and your deception. And then we'll see who the real protector is. That would be a death sentence for all conduits. I can't let you do that. And I won't let you stop me. Want my power? Seven years ago, my unit was there to save lives from a new threat. Conduits. People with powers that no one understood. They had the power to kill. And the power to transform some of us into conduits, too. I found another survivor. She tailed me as I made my way back to the safety of my battalion. Together we traveled through a lawless city that wanted us dead because of what we now were. Every day, people joined the lynch mob, horrified by the thought of conduits hiding among them. We'd hurt no one. But they could only see us as monsters. When military order finally asserted itself, they treated us as the threat. I was conduit. I was military. But I couldn't be both. So I made another option. It was the only way. By bringing in that first conduit alive, I'd earned the government's trust. And that was just the start. They funded the creation of the DUP, thinking we were just freaks hunting down other freaks. But that wasn't it. I was going to save as many conduits as I could. If my kind were going to live, 
should it be behind the walls of Curtin K? Seven years. I've kept them safe. Me. I won't let anyone undo that. Not the government. Not the army. Not you. Seven years, all you've done is keep them locked up. You just took away their freedom. So tell me, what would you do? Just throw open the gates at Curtin K Station? Set them all free? You bet your ass I would. The world hasn't changed in the past seven years. Inside, the conduits are safe. They're alive. If you turn them out, they'd all be dead inside a week. So tell me, who's the savior? And who's the monster? This is what you wanted! You win! We both have the same power! Only difference is... I've had seven years to practice. Oh, Eugene! You do some help! I can't do anything! I need a black. Oh, oh. Oh, Eugene! Get you some help! I can't do anything! I need a blast core! Oh. Okay, Delson. I'll see what I can find. Just hang on! Hold that hurts. When the dust finally settled, all you could see of Augustine were her eyes peering out from that concrete shell. The rage that had filled them moments earlier was now replaced by fear. We dismantled the fortress she had built, the army she had raised, the future she had planned. The entire world was about to know that she had failed. Taken down by a gamer, a junkie, and a small town delinquent. The crowds cheered as Augustine was hauled away. Before all this, no one would have imagined that humans and conduits could coexist. And now I was the guy kicking off the second age. Oh, and those conduits who'd spent years locked inside the walls of Curtin K? They were soon to be free once again, to live their own lives, to choose their own futures. As for me, I'd gotten what I came for. And now, now I had a promise to keep. Betty. Dawson. You're here. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all gone. A promise is a promise, right? Huh. And the others? I just got here. You're my first stop. You saved me. 
take care of our own, right? Where's Reggie? Reggie, uh... Reggie saved me. I love you, brother. I'm sure gonna miss you.